Okay, wait, TikTok's right here. <laughs> good morning. I'm stuck in between the door. Hey, Turf, say good morning to the camera. Oh, you haven't been around for the vlogging season, have you? Hey, are you ready for our, our, our long day? I am. I'm ready. I'm excited for it. What time is it? It's 8.11. And when we got to leave? 8.30. No, my son is emailing get dressed. Oh, okay. Good morning, you guys. I'm back. So today we are having a long day. Um, I posted on Twitter and I was like, you know, relaunching my YouTube channel. This will be a good idea for, you know, the first video to come back on. And so that's what we do it. So I think we're touring five places today, maybe six. And one place we're touring has like two units that we want to see. So I didn't count that, but we have tours from like 9 to like 5.30. So it's going to be a long day, but we're going to do this like house hunting style like they do on HGTV where they're like, well, we liked house number one, but you know, the patio just wasn't big enough for me. That's how we doing this. Hope you guys are excited that I'm back. I'm excited to be back. I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna get this show on the road. Let's see what I'm gonna wear today. So since we're doing like professional things today, I'm gonna choose from now here on my professional shelf. I already know I'm wearing this top. Should I wear pants today? Or shorts? Oh, these are capris. I'll do these because they're capris. I should definitely probably do flats. Three. Oh, yeah, this is it. So guys, we are on the road to our first apartment tour. So yeah, we're going to our first apartment. Um, I think I like this. This is one I liked a lot. Um, I liked them all, like I said, they all had different features and stuff that, you know, stuck out to me. So we're looking for a, a two to three bed because I'm gonna have my office and one of the rooms unless it has a den then we're gonna try and like make the den my office but um you know i'm i'm keeping my out for good office space good office size you know good lighting stuff like that and then cj you know just looking for a nice comfy safe spot so today should be interesting are you excited oh, we're excited but it's close to where cj works so that's funny wake tech i did a uh that might be the new science building, actually. Uh, we'll wait, tech. That's a science research building. Research building. Mm -hmm. What'd you do for that? When I was with this color, I did the uh, mock up for the three, they're doing like a three story science building. I, Turn? I, yeah, I think so. Oh. 90,000 square feet, wait, tech. Oh, well, that's dope. So, this place isn't too far from CJ's. It's in the same town as where he's going to be working. So, that's good. We're going there with a clear head. You know, no, uh, what you call that? No preconceived notions. I don't want to disappoint myself or anything, but I know what I'm looking for. So let's see if we get what we're looking for. Ready? Ready. Ready, Freddy. Let's go. Let's roll, friends. Okay. First apartment to our shelves around siege. Alright, so it looks like this is the living area. Big old flat screen right there. Yeah. Couch. There's an older black lady. Oh no, she's not black. Balcony, I should say. Storage. Storage, yeah. It's good. Nice little balcony. It's big. Let's look in here. Washer and dryer. 
pretty big coat closet. You will take off your shoes for you. Let me see. That's pretty good size. I love that sink. I like these countertops too. Got an electric stove. Plenty of cabinet space. Which one? Oh yeah. Oh, look how bright it is. Oh yeah. Closet and bathroom. I have my desk right there. Boom. Desk right there. Or desk right here facing the window. I'm like looking at everything, opening every drawer. This is really nice. Okay. It's a nice size bedroom. Double six! Walk-in closet. This is what I'm talking about. Right here. So this this one actually looks better in person than it does in the pictures. The pictures really don't do it justice because when I actually saw the pictures, I was kind of like, ooh. But I like this one. The fan is actually fanning in here. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I like this. I didn't like this in the pictures, but I like this in person. Something about it felt old to me. Oh, the bar scene or like the this yeah. and this. Cool. But I actually like it. You could have a nice dining table here. But hey, even just leave it open. TikToks right here. <laughs> so you guys, we just finished looking at our first choice. Well, not our first choice, but the first stop on the on the apartment tour. Um, very good community. Seems really safe. Really, um, you know, diverse groups of people here. There's families. There's older people. There's some young, like adults. Um, pretty sure there's some college kids too, but that's okay. Mostly, it seems mostly, you know, safe and quiet around here. I liked it. Like I said, pictures didn't really do it justice. Y'all saw it. I think that it's really cool how, I mean, due to COVID, like, you know, we couldn't do, uh, like, they would, they would give us a tour, but the primary option was a, what did they call it, a self-guided tour. So they just gave us the key to the unit, and we drove to the unit. You know, they took our license and stuff so that we would have to come back. But I think that I wonder if people are gonna start going in that direction when it comes to like people searching for apartments because one, it gives you the freedom. It gives us the freedom to look around. You know, you don't really feel pressured because you know when they're in there standing with you, you're like, they're like, so what do you think? And if you don't like it, you're like, eh, you know, it's cool. But you don't feel pressured to like answer anything or you know show any fake excitement. So I really like that. So any apartment complexes, if y'all see this, take note. Cause when Townhouse. They put a lot of lemonade in there too, lemonade. They did. I think they put just lemonade in there. Always put the tea Here's in first. House. Nice. Here's a little, a little cul-de-sac. Right? right off the interstate. It's, it's right right off the interstate. Yeah, you can see the interstate literally right there. That's the, the walls. The, uh, what's it called? The walls. Oh, wow. That sound like, that mean maybe a lot of traffic. I mean, a lot of noise. Let's see. Tennis just moved out. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So we still need to do some paint touch-ups, some cleaning, that sort of thing. But at least you can kind of get a feel of it. Okay. These lights. That looks good in here. Just a little small. A little small.
house the maintenance, but it's a maintenance request. How often? So it's how often? Mm, this place is okay. I don't know. I don't really know if I like it like that. I think I like the apartments better. It's nice though. The improvements in the most smart area for construction. All you want to do your kitchens living and your rooms. living space. Those are like the I eyes. mean the bedroom it, it, like it was it was I don't know. Like I'm you know I'm a details person. Mm -hmm. So like the little details weren't hitting it. But yeah. it, like the main things were hitting it, but the little details it just it just didn't feel like a home. Two and three because we were going to look at two units. But apparently our, when we scheduled our thing, it didn't confirm it. So. Well, I got an email. It sent so us an email like saying like, you know, your tour request, but it didn't, like it didn't say it had to be accepted or nothing like that. It was third party, so. Yeah, so I. But I wasn't really digging like that no ways. It was just one of the things where like it was a cheaper one and it was, you know, we were getting what we wanted. So I said, let's tour it. But something about it just rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm a very huge gut person. So I don't think that I'm feeling it. I don't think I'm feeling it. Um, I think CJ agrees with me. Yeah. Oh. And it doesn't really, it didn't really feel... It didn't feel like a dangerous neighborhood, but it didn't feel like the safest compared to what we've seen, what we saw with the first one. So now we're going to the third one, which I think hopefully is a hit because it was a hit on the internet. Excuse me. It was a hit on the internet, so hopefully it'll be something like the first one. Like I said, I'm going here with no expectations, so... So we're almost there. We're about four minutes away. And we're gonna tour Miss Loretta. I'm ready for the rest of the tour. So this apartment actually is a self-guided tour. So we get to kind of do what we did with the last one. So we're definitely gonna take our time in here. Uh, are we just looking at one unit in here? This the one with the den, ain't it? No, nah, that's uh, another one. What's the other one? Piedmont. Piedmont. Okay. Ow! Oh, no, I broke my nail. All right, so we just we just checked in with the leasing office to start our um, self-guided tour. We are touring two places and also looking at one, but we can't go in because it's not open. You know, somebody lives there right now, but that would be the. Um, that would be the the build the apartment that we would actually be staying in. Huh? Huh? Two six. Here you take this pen. Seems pretty clean. Closet space here. Pretty big living room area. Dining room. We'll go here. Plenty of cabinet space. Nice sink. See you putting your junk right here. Golly! Well, I got some pressure. That mug is tight. Oh, this is why they don't have a wash and dryer. It's not in the unit. Mm hmm. That's the one you can rent, though. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. Somebody got a Gatorade in here. Oh, y'all know I gotta test the water pressure. Oh, yeah. Now, let's just 
just hope it get hot because I like myself burning. They don't feel like my skin not peeling. I don't so We know. just left the apartment that we toured and we really liked it. Like really, really liked it. It was, as you guys can see, it was like really nice. And the three bed. Turn right on six Forks Road. Girl, you talk too much. And the three bed was almost as cheap as the two bed. If five dollars. It's five dollars more expensive than the three bed. I mean than the two bed. So I could have an office plus we could have a guest room, which is great. I'm feeling great. Three quarters of a mile. And turn right on West Millbrook Road. And the move out date is I mean the move in date for us is our move out date for our Airbnb. So that's just, look at, look at God sending us all the right signs. Now we just we gotta listen to him. It was all a lie, it was all a lie. So we thought we were done and then we got another one that we need to go check out. So we're gonna check it out and then we'll be done. We so, we're so tired y'all, it don't make no sense. Oh wow. So you guys, I am exhausted. It has been a long day. We got so much done. We started, we started moving around at like 8.30 and it's like three o'clock now, but we've been on, we've been on go ever since 8.30. So I think I'm gonna take a little nap and then figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner. But that's all for this video. I know it was a pretty long video. So thanks you guys if you stick around to the end. I'm officially back. I'm officially excited to be making more videos. So if you guys have any video recommendations or requests, drop them in the comments. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a video. <sighs> it's currently Monday. We said we we're gonna make a decision on an apartment by the end of the week. So when we do make that decision, you guys will be the first to know. Until next time. Turps. Turps. Can I do our house hunter sit down, bitch? Are we? You know I'm talking about. Yeah. We said it didn't say we were doing. Hey, Turps. I'm like, I'm super warm. Turps, tell the vlog bye. Say bye. No, stop. I have a kind of space like this, fully furnished. Your belly's warm. Bye, y'all.